Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a super fun video. Today in this video, we have two 44 Magnums. These are long barrels. I just about can't get any closer. They won't fit on the screen, but this is a Smith & Wesson 44 Magnum Performance Center. Super, super awesome revolver. Paul's gonna be shooting this one, and I'm gonna be shooting this 44 Magnum. This is a Ruger Red Hawk 44 Magnum. Those of you that know what both of these are, know these are some awesome, awesome revolvers. You just about can't beat these two when it comes to 44 Magnum. If you, somebody says 44 Magnum, they probably have one of these in mind, but we're gonna play just a simple fun game of pig. Out here on the range, we got all kind of shots and just have fun calling shots and seeing what we can do with both of these. But a big shout out to Gun Prime for sending these out. Y'all check out Gun Prime. I'll put a link to them down below. And yeah, tell them a thanks for sending these out so we can show them to you guys and have a little bit of fun with them today. But let's get to shooting. I'm about to smoke Paul in a game of no. 44 Magnum Big. All right, who's gonna call the first shot? You want me to call it? It's all on you. All right, so we're gonna do three shots each, playing pig, see what we can do. But I've got the Ruger Red Hawk. Yeah, yeah, this is gonna be fun, but I'm gonna go ahead and start and just make it hard so I can beat you real quick, like. Yeah. All right, first I'm gonna hit something I think I can hit 50 feet. Um, two, actually the blue gong up there on the to three down from the silhouette. Oh, okay. Smoked it. Now, I'm going to go for that uh, white one just to the left of it. Nailed it. Smoked it. And then, let me try to hit that spinner, the blue side, the right side of that left and right spinner, the blue part. That's a real small target, y'all. Just a shade high, but you know what? The trigger's heavier on this than I would like it to have, to tell you the truth. Yeah. For, but hey, I hit those first two, see what you can do with it. Yeah, good shoot. Well, let me see if I can hit anything. Now that I done opened up my big mouth and said I would win this. With nice, the spin. Blue, white, and spinner. Yep. These are good shooting revolvers. Oh, and he smoked that one. Yeah, I love this thing. Alright, come on, spinner. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Well, that's a P. So he just gave me a letter. That was a really good shot. That was a little ridiculous. I think that's the most that thing's ever spun around. Man, I think you're right. These Man. are 240 grain jacketed hollow points. So I got a P, and I thought I was going to get you. All right, let me do one-handed bottom of the red spinner. Ooh, good shot. And then I'm going to go big green silhouette primo target on the top, and then the big smaller green primo target up there to the right. So red, green, green. I like it. All one-handed, right hand. I missed it. Barely. I missed it. Did it go right? It looked like it went a shade left. Man. I think this, I'd like this trigger just to be a hair lighter. Got that one. And how far is that up there? Uh, 120 feet. 120 feet with 44 magnum. We ought to be able to do it with these long barrels though. And I missed that gone. Hmm. If I hit all three of these, I'll put you right out. I will lose. Yep. 
No, I wouldn't do that, would I? You probably will. I hope I will. All right, Smith, you're my friend. Treat me right. One-handed, all one-handed. Oh, one-handed. Thanks. As soon as I pulled that trigger, I knew. Oh, and you missed the silhouette. Unbelievable. I got all the swimming crooked bullets again, I think. Nothing. So that means you got to pee now. Right? Them last three bullets were malfunctioning. I'm going to go up close and hit this red gone right here on the front. Ah, oh, good shot. Got it. Got it. And then I'm going to shoot this bear left-handed the two white ones. And I missed it. Man. Barely. I seen the leaf right behind it jump. Alright, so. You might make me lose right Two here. hand, left hand, right hand. Yep. Alright, this should be game unless I do something stupid. It might be. Might be. That thing, Lord. Yeah, that thing slings them out there, and I left-handed for the bear. Yep, and I missed it. Oh man, yep. I'm pretty sure I just lost. Right-handed on the blue. Yep. Come on. Oh, missed it. So I brushed that shot. I got a P.I. P.I. It's a P. I don't know what I can do to make it hard where I can beat you. Let me just do... Get that big green silhouette up there again. Let me go for the green one up there again, to the, to the right of it. Smoked it that time. Definitely got that one. And then, let me go left-handed, right here on this blue buffalo. Time. Three for three. Three for three. Good shooting. Big green, little green, and buffalo. Alright. Yes. Unbelievable. Not a bad one. I jerked the trigger like an idiot. That's the game. I think you're out of bullets. Oh man! That's alright. I gave you a good run for your money though. Yep. And like I say, the other day, I was hitting that just fine. Put me in competition and I'll freeze up I reckon. Always a fun day at the range hanging out with Paul. These pig games 
are my favorite videos to do. They're always a blast, but I beat him with the Ruger. This Smith & Wesson is an awesome, awesome 44 Magnum as well. Between the two, whoo, I love them both. This one's actually a little bit heavier. This one's a little bit lighter, but I think I like the grip on the Smith & Wesson a little bit better. And I think the trigger, yeah, the trigger on the Smith is a little bit lighter too, but yeah, both great 44 Magnum pistols. Again, big shout out, big thanks for Gun Prime for sending these out to us. Y'all check them out. But hey, thanks for watching. Comment down below what you guys want to see next time. We'll see y'all in the next one. Hoo hoo.